When you're relaxing at home, you probably don't give much thought to the possibility of being struck dead by a dangerous plant. But there are criminals, murderers, and lowlifes of all kind in the plant kingdom. Some of them are in your own backyard. Sago palm. People love sago palms. You see them as house plants, and they're all over gardens in the south. You know, they're pretty, they're sturdy, and just packed with carcinogens and neurotoxins. In fact, this is one of the top 10 most toxic house plants for pets. Dogs like to chew on the plant, but that'll cause seizures, liver damage, and, well, death. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Monk's hood. Yeah, that do it. Sure. Oh, monk's hood. That looks good in the garden as long as you never touch it. It'll absorb into your skin and cause numbness and an irregular heartbeat. But swallow it and you'll be dead by dinner. You know, speaking of dinner, in 1865, a Scottish cook mistook it for horseradish and fed it to an entire dinner party, making everybody sick and killing two unfortunate priests. Great, oleander. Oleander? It's a nice shrub, except for the cardiac glycosides that cause vomiting, irregular pulse, decreased heart rate, and, well, death. In fact, there's a woman on death row right now who tried to murder her husband with oleander. It didn't work. He ended up in the hospital, but she finished him off with antifreeze. Those aren't the only plants with criminal records. History is full of horticultural homicides. White snake root killed Abraham Lincoln's mother in 1818, but not directly. Cows grazed on the toxic leaves and passed the poison onto people in their milk, causing a mysterious illness called milk sickness. Entire families died of milk sickness, never suspecting that a plant was to blame. Oh, then there's castor bean. The seeds contain a deadly poison called ricin. It was used by the KGB to assassinate communist defectors. And don't forget about the deadly seeds of the strychnine tree. In the 19th century, Dr. Thomas Cream slipped it to his patients. And Dr. Cream died at the young age of 42. He was hanged for murder. I'm Amy Stewart. You can get up close and personal with these and other notorious botanical villains in my new book, Wicked Plants, coming in May 2009 from Algonquin Books. A hemlock. Yeah, well, killed Socrates. Opium? Mm, yeah, that'll do it. Oh, tobacco. 90 million people dead. That's a wicked plant. Cocoa. Yeah, sure. Hey, Jackson, want to get some ice cream? Okay, let's go. Bad toys, go nanny.